The history of toilet paper is a long and interesting one, with the earliest known use dating back to ancient China. In those days, toilet paper was made from a variety of materials, including bamboo, silk, and hemp. It was also common for people to use other objects, such as stones, corn cobs, and leaves to clean themselves after using the toilet. The modern-day toilet paper was produced in the United States in the late 1800s and was made from soft, high-quality tissue paper. This early toilet paper was expensive and not widely available and was typically only used by wealthy households. Over time, the production of toilet paper became more efficient and affordable, and it gradually became a common household item. Today, toilet paper is an essential part of everyday life for people around the world. It's made from a variety of materials, including trees, bamboo, and recycled paper, and is available in a wide range of sizes, styles, and scents. Despite its humble origins, toilet paper has come a long way and is now an indispensable part of our daily routines. We're taking a deep dive into a fascinating process of toilet paper production. Toilet paper is made from a soft, absorbent material called cellulose. Cellulose is a natural substance found in the cell walls of plants, and it is the most abundant organic polymer on Earth. The first step in making toilet paper is harvesting the raw material. Toilet paper is typically made from trees, although other plants such as bamboo and sugarcane can also be used. Trees are a renewable resource, and the production of toilet paper from trees is generally considered sustainable. However, the environmental impact of the process depends on how the trees are harvested and the pulp is manufactured. Material for toilet paper is typically collected by cutting down trees and stripping the bark off of the logs. The bark of the tree is removed during the process of making toilet paper because it contains several impurities that can affect the quality of the final product. Bark is usually removed from logs using a deep barker, a machine that strips the bark off the logs used by passing them through a series of rotating drums. The bark is then separated from the wood chips and discarded. By removing the bark, the pulp mill can produce a cleaner, higher quality pulp that is more sustainable for making toilet paper. Additionally, Removing the bark also helps to prevent any harmful chemicals or resins that are present in the bark from contaminating the pulp. The logs are then transported to a pulp mill, where they are chipped into small pieces and cooked with chemicals, such as caustic soda and sodium sulfide, to break down the cellulose fibers and release the pulp. The resulting pulp is mixed with water to create a slurry, which is passed through a series of screens to remove any remaining bark or other impurities. The resulting pulp is then ready to be used to make toilet paper. Next, the pulp is fed into a machine called an extruder. The extruder mixes the pulp with water and other chemicals to form a slurry. The slurry is then squeezed through a series of small holes or extrusion dies. As the slurry passes through the dies, it is shaped into thin sheets of toilet paper. After the toilet paper sheets are extruded from the machine, they are typically passed through a series of rollers to remove any excess moisture. This is an important step in the manufacturing process because it ensures that the toilet paper will be strong and durable, and will not fall apart when it's used. The rollers may also be heated to help speed up the drying process. The extrusion process is an important part of making toilet paper because it allows the manufacturer to control the thickness, strength, and softness of the final product. The size and shape of the extrusion die, as well as the speed at which the slurry is passed through them, can all be adjusted to produce toilet paper with different characteristics. Additionally, the machine may also be equipped with other features, such as a perforating system to create the quilted patterns that are commonly found on toilet paper, or a coating system to apply lotions or other additives to the sheets. After extrusion, the toilet paper rolls are then sent through a series of quality control checks to ensure that they meet the required standards for softness, strength, and absorbency. Any rolls that don't meet the standards are rejected and recycled back into the process. Once the toilet paper has been made, it must pass a series of quality control checks. Manufacturers typically have strict quality control measures in place to ensure that their products meet certain standards. These measures may include testing the strength and softness of the toilet paper, as well as checking for any defects or impurities. For example, manufacturers may use a tensile strength tester to measure the amount of force required to tear a sample of toilet paper. 
This helps to ensure that the toilet paper will be strong enough to withstand normal use without tearing or falling apart. Manufacturers may also use a softness tester to measure the tactile sensation of the toilet paper on the skin. This can help them to produce toilet paper that is soft and comfortable to use. In addition to these physical tests, manufacturers may perform chemical and microbial analysis to check for contaminants or other impurities. This helps to ensure that the toilet paper is safe and hygienic to use. Overall, these quality control measures are an important part of the manufacturing process and help to ensure that consumers receive a high quality product that meets their expectations. Once it is passed the quality control checks, it is packaged and shipped to warehouses and stores, where it is sold to consumers. The production line for making toilet paper is a complex and highly efficient process. It involves many different machines, each performing a specific task. For example, some machines cut the pulp into small pieces, mix it with water and chemicals, and form it into sheets. Some machines press and dry the sheets and cut them into rolls. The entire process of making toilet paper is highly automated, with machines performing most of the tasks. However, there are still some tasks that are done by hand, such as quality control checks and packaging. But not everyone uses traditional toilet paper for their personal hygiene. Some alternatives to toilet paper include bidets, wet wipes, reusable cloths, and even natural sponges on a stick. Bidets are plumbing fixtures that are used to clean private areas after using the toilet. Most bidets are equipped with a nozzle that sprays water, which can be adjusted for temperature and pressure. Wet wipes are pre-moistened towelettes that are designed to clean the skin. They are often made from a combination of water, alcohol, and mild cleansers, and are usually biodegradable. Reusable cloths are washable and can be used multiple times. They are typically made from cotton or other absorbent materials. In some parts of the world, people use natural sponges that are attached to a stick for cleaning. The sponge is soaked in water and then used to clean the private areas. In many cultures, people simply use water to clean themselves after using the toilet. This can be done with a handheld bidet, a cup, or even just cupping water in the hands. Each of these alternatives has its pros and cons, and the best option may vary depending on personal preferences and cultural norms. Toilet paper is an essential product for maintaining personal hygiene, and it plays a crucial role in preventing the spread of disease. That's why it's important to have a reliable and efficient process for making it.